You ever wonder why some species thrive and adapt while others just fade away? Hey, man, natural selection has everything to do with it. And today, we get deep into the understandings of natural selection. It's your boy, Za. We back with another banger. Get it. Wow. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You hear me? Yeah, you know it. All right, gang, natural selection is the process by which heritable traits enhance an organism's ability to survive and reproduce over a series of time, or multiple generations over time. Um, and when we hear, or when, we, when many people hear natural selection in Charles Darwin, they think of evolution, right? It is the primary factor that drives evolution. So that's absolutely correct. But I think a lot of misconceptions are when people think about humans and tie them into evolution. And a huge misconception is that humans evolved from monkeys. Uh, you know, they're like, well, if that's the case, then how can monkeys still be around living with us? We had that conversation in Discord just last night. And it's because we never evolved from monkeys. That's false. We didn't evolve from apes. But us and apes share a common ancestor. We do. But somewhere a long time ago, during meiosis, there was a split, and our genetic makeup went one way while the apes um, went another way. But we are still um, within the ape family, absolutely. Um, evolution, and to give you a perfect example, when we think of natural selection, uh, you can think of only the strong survive, right? And it gets a little bit deeper than that. But there was a cool little example that I went over in Discord yesterday with Team Zaza. Shout out to Team Zaza. Shout out to DTF too, man. We was just in a Discord and uh, I asked DTF, I said, man, what should we do a video on? Should we do it on natural selection or should we do it on detailed breaking down of the herms? I was like, man, do natural selection, man. It's a better topic. And I said, yeah, you're right. Uh, it's been times where I come from the dog world and I use the term loosely um, and, and the, you know, the way I may have used it in the past could have confused some people. So I think it is a good video to really break down. But when we think uh, of natural selection, we can. We can think of uh, the strong survive. So let's take, for example, a genome of beetles, right? A population of beetles. Half the beetles are green and half are brown. For whatever reason, the birds are attracted to the green ones and they eat the green ones and for whatever reason they don't eat the brown ones through natural selection eventually as the birds continue to eat and reduce the population of the green ones giving them um it, it, giving them the inability to reproduce because they're being ate the brown ones will consistently continue to breed and breed whatever, and eventually all of the population will be brown. Now, what determines natural selection and only the strong survive is really what were the determining factors that stopped the bees from eating the brown beetles. Now, there could be two scenarios, right? Let's say the birds are just super attracted to the bright green color. Shout out the owner. That was owner's idea in this court yesterday when I gave this same example to my team. And they, you know, they were they were giving their thoughts. Um, but owner said, well, you know, if they are, maybe they're just super attracted to the green color. That's why they and I said, well, if that's the case, can we really call that natural selection? Because what's going to happen is 
once they finish eating all of the green ones, then they may start to eat the brown ones as well. And if there's no natural defenses or in place to, to prevent them from being eaten, just like the green, then eventually that population will diminish as well. So we really can't consider. But the scenario where we will consider natural selection is there's some sort of natural defense within maybe something as simple as the brown beetles just taste really bad. And the birds determined that early on, and they decided we can't eat those. Or they may be poisonous, or they may have some sort of, you understand? In that case, that is a perfect example of a natural selection because that is a particular trait that's enhancing the survival and also the reproduction of that particular organism, that brown beetle. So now, because of that defense, that, that same trait will be passed on. Now, the green ones who never carried that trait, right? They weren't dumb. They never, they never expressed that trait. So they all are extinct. They're gone. Only the strong survive. And because that trait, that one trait that prevented the brown side from being eaten, now they reproduce frequently. Now they pass that trait on to every generation moving forward until we've completely developed a population that's immune 100% from being eaten by birds. So that would now be a thing of the past, beetles being eaten by birds. And that's a prime example, perfect example of natural selection, man. You know, And um, we can definitely get more deep into it. So let's take a closer look. Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882, was a British naturalist who made significant contributions in the world of evolution. Um, Charles did what we remember as the voyage of the H HMS Beagle. And that basically was him traveling to a whole bunch of different places and doing experiments and, and um, you know, proving a lot of his hypotheses to be true. Uh, and his groundbreaking, most memorable work was with finches. He uh, collected three finches on the uh, island of Galapagos, right? And um, those three finches, he determined that because of natural selection and the things that they were eating, um, their beak sizes were, were different. Um, eventually to the point where it developed into two main beak sizes. Uh, and it was one that was short and stocky for cracking nuts because that's what they primarily ate uh, in that area with those finches. But it was the same genome of finch to start out with. Um, and the other finches uh, were, had a long slim because they ate insects. So they had a long slender beak, which was perfect for uh, grabbing and eating in insects. so, And that was through natural selection. Because of the things uh, they, they chose for their diet, it changed, uh, changed them, the genetic makeup, phys physically, uh, uh, you know, over time, over a series of generations. Let's look at three key components of natural selection. Number one, variation. We understand populations exhibit natural variation in traits due to genetic diversity. Very important. Uh, individuals within a population differ in characteristics such as size, color, all of those alleles and traits that we know, right? Um, variation is one main component. Two, heritability. Traits that confer a higher chance of survival and reproduction must be heritable meaning they have to be able to be passed from one generation to the next. And third, differentiation reproduction success. So when it comes to, and that's, that's, a, that's a tongue twister, that's a lot, right? Differentiation reproductive success, all right? The core concept of natural selection is that organisms with traits better suited to the environment are more likely to survive and reproduce over time. And that's it, man. I appreciate y'all rocking. I missed y'all, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
I'm a full-time student. I got a full-time job as well. And this is also my full-time work. So um, along with teaching, catch us in the Discord, usually almost every night, 9 p.m. You can usually catch us. I, uh, I rebought the site back to the old site. So you can go check the site out. I'm going to keep the sale up. We're doing some changes. Shout out to my brother Aladdin over at Khalifa Genetics. Uh, we, we restocked. Khalifa Genetics is back in stock. The new Aladdin's Kush, Aladdin Skunk. We got it. We got we got a couple. We got a couple of the bangers, man. So um, the Autoflower project is about to be underway. DeadOps OG Autoflower as well. What other announcements and news we got? Listen, hit that like button, please. And don't forget to comment and subscribe as well, man. And if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. It's super important to me, man. That's all I'm asking. That's how you show your support and show your love, man, for the work that I put in. You know what time it is. I uh, hope y'all learn something there with, when it comes to natural selection. I hope I clarify some confusion, man. So I promise to no longer use the term loosely around. And they're like, oh, you said natural selection was. I'm like, no, nah, bruh. This is what natural select. You got it now? You got it now? Shout out to the loved ones, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Team Zaza, y'all know what time it is. Shout out to my brother, Tony Trini. Yeah. And shout out to the sponsors and my partners over at AC Infinity. I love y'all. I appreciate all that y'all do. I went to my sponsors and I said, listen, my brother, Tony Trini, out in Trinidad, Team Zaza, he just won first place with Dead Ops OG in the Trinidadian Cannabis Cup. Can we hook my brother up? They said, man, of course. Whatever he need, man. Little did they know, my brother was already really searching for a light. And it's really hard to get a light out there. And they, everything over there is just, they be trying to capitalize and take advantage. But, you know, we're not only trying to change the game here when it comes to QCE, quality community and education, so we can make a better quality community putting forth an effort to get it done over there in Trinidad as well and change the community for a positive, you know, change it um, so that people can get affordable genetics um, and products, grow equipment, everything, whatever you need at an affordable rate. Shout out to all the people out there that I inspire, all of the breeders that come up here and learn and then go up there and try to regurgitate what you, you know, you got to do the work too, though. You can't just come up here and play with language. Understand this. I create breeding content. You create can of content. It's not the same. On that note, <laughs> appreciate y'all. Love y'all. My